So let's continue with kinematic series. Now here is the ball drop or uh, ball through or drop cases. Now first two balls meet, release for off going, release from, release from off going balloon, last second cases and then regular release cases. There are mainly four cases in ball through or drop cases. So let's start with the first question. A ball is dropped from a top of tower 100 meter high simultaneously another ball is thrown upwards with a speed of 50 meter per second after what time do they cross each other so now here is a from a height 100 meter one ball is dropped and another is thrown from nuns when will they after what time do they meet so the time taken from ball to this point and this ball to this point is same now s is equal to distance traveled here if this is s s is equal to u means dropped half which will be 0 g t square and here will be 100 minus s is equal to u u means it will 50 50 t plus sorry it will minus it against gravity half g t square now putting the value of s here 100 minus half g t square is equals to 50 t minus half g t square time is same so you can cancel this so t will be 2 second so 2 second is the correct answer now let's move on to next problem a balloon is going upwards with velocity 12 well in this case last second case you have to consider first second of distance is equals to first second upward distance is equals to distance is equals to last second downward distance now moving on to this question a balloon is going upward with velocity 12 meter per second it releases a packet when it is at height 65 from the ground how much time will the packet take to reach the ground now a balloon is going upwards and here a packet is released now first of all it goes upward and then it will come downward so just a, it's a simple question as is equals to ut plus half gt square but here u will be negative because it will first go upward upward so h will be 65 is equals to initial 2l into t plus 5t square it will be 5t square minus 2lt minus 65 is equals to 0 now using this two you have to make 2 well after subtracting 5 1 of 5 it will be 5 there is a 15 so 13 5 5 5 is 25 25 minus 13 will be 12 yes so 1 will be 25 and 1 will be 13 so sorry t square means this will be 5 so after solving you will get 5 second is the correct answer now let's move on to next question last second case a ball is dropped from the top of the tower and its time of fall is and its time of fall is t in last t by 4 time now a ball is dropped from top of a tower and its time of fall is t whole t in last t by 4 so t by 4 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 we know that in equal time distance traveled if first is s then another is 3s another is 5s another is 7s now if here is given 7s is equals to 1.4 meters 0.4 meter then s is equals to 0.2 meter now if you put s value in all this you will get the height 0.2 plus 2 3 just 0 0.6 plus 1 plus 1 1.4 it will be 1.4 plus 0 0.62 2 
to 3, 3.2. So 3.2 is the right answer. Well, there is one another question. Which is the direction of ball is thrown upward? In one question, there it is asked a ball is thrown upward. Upward and ball is thrown vertically upward from time and and its time of rise is t in first t by 5 2 3 4 5 first t by 5 second it travels a distance of 2.5 2.7 meter find height so this is this looks similar but here it is given ascending so we have to use the concept that for first second up is equals to last second down so first second up will be last second down so if we make one two three four and five now we making like this if we make we have to use the downward direction always so s plus 3s plus 5s plus 7s plus 9s so this 9s will be 2.7 9s is equals to 2.7 and then you can solve the problem in, sim in this case is also similar but to this but it seems a little bit complex ok now moving on a ball is projected vertically upward from the ground it is found that same elevation at t is equals to 3 and t is equals to 7 so according to question we have thrown a ball and it goes like this now at same time t is equals to 3 and t is equals to 7 our point it is in semite. Find the projection speed now. Now here, if a body moves from year to year in three second, then it will also come year to year in three second. So now, total time of flight, total time of flight t is equal to from year to year it will be seven plus three because it has already seven. Now it will come three. So 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Now to find distance S is equal to B is equal to U plus So B square is equal to U square minus 2 A So here we have to find the projection speed so let's draw p is equals to u minus a t from year to year only case. So now final velocity will be 0 at top is equals to u minus this is g g and then t. So u is equals to 5 into 10 10 g this will be 50 meter per second. 50 meter per second is the correct answer. Now moving on, a ball is dropped from top of a tower. Distance covered by it in last second last second is equals to is equal to distance covered in three second of motion. So first three second is equals to last second. So now it is dropped. So in case of first second, it will be s is equals to u will be 0, u t half g means 10 t square means 1 square, it will be 5 meter and then second second in 10 into 2 square means 4 will be 2 to the 20 meter and then third second it will be 1 by 2 into 10 into 9 45 meter now in fourth second it will be first three second is equal to last second so this plus distance traveled so now last second will be 5 plus 20 plus 45 which is equals to 70 50 60 70 now let's move on with 4 second then 16 
Wall is drawn from <coughs> top of a tower. Distance covered by it in last second is equals to distance. Last second distance is equals to first three second motion. So now in first second it will travel as nth is equals to a by g by 2 2t minus 1 it will be 5 5 meter second second it will be 10 by 2 4 minus 1 15 meter third second it will be 5 3 to the 6 minus 1 25 meter and now first last last second distance will be 45 meter adding the, these two but here is a twist fourth fourth second in fourth second it travels 8 minus 1 means 7 5 the 45 meter this 45 meter is equals to last second so it will travel for 4 second only for 4 second now moving on a person is throwing balls into ear one after another if he is throwing two balls every second how I do they rise so rise is equals to one by two into ten into t square means zero point five whole square one by two into ten into one by four five by four means it will be one point two five meter that's it now let's move on to the other problem water droplets are falling at regular interval of time from roof of 5 meter so this is a room and from here water is dropping are falling at regular interval of time from the height 5 meter when first drop strikes strike ground third drop just leaves the roof just leaves the roof means third drop is here and then second is at somewhere here third drop just leaves the roof then height of second drop from the ground at this instant is height so time interval is same time interval is same then we, we can use the relation distance is odd going on odd series so if here to here it is s then here to here it is 3s now s plus 3s will be 5 meter now 4s is equals to 5 s means s is equals to 1.25 meter 1.25 meter thus distance from height of second drop from ground height of second drop from ground is 3 into 1.25 which is 5 3 is a 15 1 carry 3 to the 6 7 then 3 1 3 3.75 3. this much for ball cases keep tuned for more videos